Let's take a look at what Josephson found. Before I show you the results, I have to tell you that there was a third condition in which the children watched the violent TV show and were also given a cue to remind them about the show before the hockey game. Here on the y-axis, we have the number of aggressive behaviours elicited by the children in the study during a game of hockey. On the x-axis, we have either those who watched the non-violent TV program, the violent TV program, and those who watched the violent TV program and were given a cue to remind them about the violent program. Josephson found that the children who watched the violent TV program showed more aggressive behaviours during the game of hockey compared to those who watched the non-violent TV program. Now, as I said earlier, before the children started to play hockey, some of those who watched the violent program were given a cue that reminded them of the violent program they watched. For some of the children, before they started to play hockey, the experimenter passed around a walkie-talkie, like a CB radio. And this was relevant because this is how the police officers communicated with each other in the violent program. So the walkie-talkie was a cue to the content of the violent TV program. It turned out that if the children were reminded of the violent program, they showed even more aggressive behaviours compared to those who were not given the cue. This is one of the many studies that has examined whether or not exposure to media violence influences aggression. Even though this study shows that, at least in the short term and in the sporting arena, that watching a violent TV program influences children to behave more aggressively, there is continuing debate in the literature about whether exposure to media violence during childhood is the reason why some people are becoming more aggressive adults.